Tonight, a new memorial sits near the place where Andrea McDonald's remains were found last week, just off of Specht Road. Her husband, Andre McDonald, arrested yesterday after a months long investigation with the Bear County Sheriff's Office. Several members of search and rescue groups who spent countless hours searching for Andrea put on a candlelight vigil in her honor. The night team's Jaffney Gray with how people paid their respects. Hyacinth Maureen Smith wept as she sat near the memorial site of where the remains of her daughter, 29-year-old Andrea McDonald, were found. And there are people that are being influenced by spirits that are ungodly, and that's what causes something like this. Andrea's husband, Andre McDonald, in custody on a murder charge after disturbing details were released surrounding Andrea's disappearance four months ago. Whatever happens to him, he deserves it. Her family devastated after the remains were confirmed to be hers. Now, sadly, there are too many bodies found in San Antonio, so which each, with each body, my family goes through this roller coaster. But Andrea's first cousin, Cheryl Spencer, says they were just as relieved knowing justice is being served. I actually enjoyed watching being arrested. That was nice. Yeah, I like that little public shaming. During a candlelight vigil for Andrine, white and purple flowers lay near a handmade cross, and people, including strangers, paid their respects to her and the loved ones she leaves behind. The name of her business is Starlight, and I really feel like a star has been dimmed. She was a strong, successful, beautiful woman, and we just all have to remember her for the good parts of her life. Her family says they hope Andre is held accountable to the fullest extent. Any ounce of understanding that we had for, for Andy in the beginning, it's gone. You don't have the right to do this to any human being. Um, Andrew is far from perfect. Uh, she had her flaws, but um, you don't have the right to do this to anybody's child. But they hope while people remember Andreen, they do not forget about her young daughter who hasn't seen both of her parents since March 1st. And I just hope people, family as well, in our selfishness about our feelings, to never forget that she's going to miss both parents. Jaffany Gray, KSAT 12 News. Again, the investigation is far from over. The family says in the meantime, they're making plans on what to do with Andreen's remains for proper burial.